Hey folks, lighting can be expensive. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that you can do at home to be able to make your own lighting box and hopefully save a ton of money in the process. Hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start with this acrylic. What we're going to do is we are going to score it with a knife on the smooth side so that way I can get a nice cut and then snap it. And what we want to do is create a little window here where the acrylic is going to sit in and then we can open and close as necessary to change out lights or to do something different on the inside. So the acrylic was free. It was some trash that I got from a local office building. You can pretty much go to any office building, talk to the maintenance guy or facilities manager and say, hey, do you have any of those acrylic light pieces that cover up the lights, the fluorescent lights above? Do you have any broken ones? They usually have like one or two lying around. If not, you can go to Home Depot and you can usually get a sheet of acrylic for around $3.99. This was the cheapest route, which is the freebie. Got the box. I'm going to lay the box down. And since it's gonna be inside of the box, I'm going to make, I'm gonna hang the box over the edge of the acrylic just a little bit on all sides. So that way we can cut that, that a little bit smaller than the lid. So basically it I'm gonna run the line over here along this edge and from here to here. There we go. So first things first, I'm gonna try to make a cut completely across. That way I can snap off this unused un unwanted piece and then I'll work on cutting off this smaller piece that's left over once I'm done. Hopefully it doesn't all shatter on me and go horribly awry. Using my knife, please be careful. I'm gonna start by just making a line. This is gonna be my first line just to establish where I'm gonna cut. Just running it back and forth a few times. Trying to get a little groove going into the acrylic. It won't be perfect. So you can hear it getting jagged and shattering as I'm cutting. I'm scoring it pretty hard, so there's a chance that it's gonna it's gonna completely shatter and fracture on me but we shall see. All right, I tend to think that this thing cracks easier when you really gently bend it. Cool. Let's throw that aside. Now we need to get rid of this last piece right here. Once again, textured side down, and I'm just gonna establish my first line. Think it's ready? Let's see. There we go. This stuff is a little jagged, but it's not sharp. So it can't really hurt you. I mean, it, I guess if you're really not careful, it can, but this stuff's not too bad. Got our box up here. And as you see, it's gonna sit right in there. So what we're gonna do cut out a little window for our acrylic. So this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but just to kind of help things out a little bit, we'll use a little piece of the old acrylic and a smoother edge. 
And like I said, this does not have to be perfect by any means. We just need as much of a window of the acrylic sticking out as possible. We're just drawing some lines. <laughs> it is really not gonna be perfect, obviously. I mean, it's looking pretty janky, but should be okay. All right, so we could use our scissors, but idea was for this acrylic stuff to sit right in here just like that so we're gonna have our lights in here acrylic sitting out here so we're gonna tape this down so it doesn't go anywhere the lights are gonna go in here with the aluminum foil all right so we have it cut out I'm going to turn it so that way the more jagged edge is over here towards the outer edge of the lid of the box. So once again, kind of give you an idea of when we close it, there's your light box. Huh? All right, so we are going to tape this lid with the handy daddy tape that we got from the dollar store. tape right here along this edge. Yay. All right, that part is in there. Now we're going to line the interior of this with some aluminum foil. We use the aluminum foil with the shiny side facing up. Pretty much got all the sides of the box lined with aluminum foil now we're gonna lay the lights in so i'm gonna lay the lights in but also going to have a little section here where we can slide the lights through or slide the wire through that is for the lights now these lights you can get on walmart or at walmart i'm sorry for about five bucks that's how much i paid for them this is a monster lighting brand so pretty decent quality i guess you could say peel off the little sticker here because they have a backing that's adhesive and you can use that to line it here inside of the box as long as you have enough space left over to put the wire that's going to be the plug part outside the box and we're going to just cut a little tiny hole right here not much of one just a little tiny space there to feed that through it doesn't have to be perfect but it does need to be able to squeeze through that little cut that you made i don't want it to be um too big of a cut there because I want to make sure that the lights actually I want to make sure that the wire stays in place that's the main thing so all right now comes the part where we just peel off the sticker and we lay these out 
and once again I'm gonna face them towards the um, oops made a mistake there I'm gonna face them towards the uh, acrylic so that's just the way that I want to do it you can do it however you prefer Stick them here in the box, and that's all I'm going to do. Now, of course, you can make it more custom and lay them out perfectly and do all that, but as janky as that looks, it's going to serve its purpose, really. All we're trying to do, and I'm going to grab my little battery pack here, which has been actually powering the light that you're seeing, and I'm going to grab the wire that powers these lights. They're little tiny prongs. And then you can wrap this with electrical tape should you want to keep it nice and secure. Then plug them in there like that. Close the lid and we have ourselves a light box. And because the main part of the wire here is on the outside which has the remote receiver, you can turn them on and off here with the remote. All right, well, there you have it. I am currently recording this particular part of the video using my light box. And I can see you guys up there, and here is my light box. So, cool. I think it came out pretty good. If you double up the LEDs, that's inside of this thing i think you're going to get a really good result i don't have the led to double up i have one one strand of them and it's only a six foot strand of lights so i think you can get a lot better results i'm going to put it on soft white mode and see how that looks probably won't be so great i mean it's a little softer it's still kind of kind of odd i don't know if it's going to work all right, folks, so there you have it. We have our DIY lighting box right here behind my camera, and it's doing the job that it was made to do. $8, got the lights for $5, $4.99 at Walmart, and their little bargain bin, which they have tons of those there. They're always there by the TV section. Got a roll of Reynolds wrap, which was only a buck at the dollar store also got ourselves the acrylic which was throw away from a building and then we used some tape which was also a buck and my knife to cut the acrylic i mean overall this was done for eight dollars i already had the tape i already had the reynolds wrap so i mean if you're talking about just the lights then you're looking at five dollars to build out this light box and it comes with a remote control so if you don't want to have to worry about plugging it in, unplugging it, and you're between takes, you can shut it off just like that. And remote control, turn it right back on. Um, hopefully this helps out. Please like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Let them know how to go about building this light box because this is something that can save you a ton of money when you're starting out your YouTube channel. Money is very tight and every little dollar that you can save counts. So hopefully this helps. All right, thanks, bye.